everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays FTL, as is typical. Uh, I had a run with the... It doesn't really matter what ship, but it was the NG Cruiser Type A. And what happened? Died against the flagship. Happening with some alarming regularity. You know what we'll do? We'll play as the uh, Red Tail this time. Not necessarily to say that's going to be easier, but I was debating between the Red Tail and the NG Cruiser last time. I went with the NG Cruiser. Let's go with the Red Tail this time. Still trying to unlock the Crystal Cruiser, still trying to unlock the uh, Rock Cruiser, but mostly just trying to get some more, you know, normal victories under my belt so I can go back to um, maybe playing on hard. You'll not go back to, that would be the first time, but, um, you know, I, I eventually want to get at least decent in FTL, and I'm not quite there. I do have a couple normal wins, but it would be nice to get a, a win under my belt, particularly as a, uh, a ship that is not just the Kestrel, which is where all of my wins have come from. Um, destroy loot. I, this is a, a, an event I don't really understand. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt. You find a ship with pyro markings partially crushed between two large rocks and must have been illegally mining the belt. We can destroy and loot it, which usually leads to combat, or try to dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks, which sometimes leads to combat. Sometimes leads to free scrap, I guess, which is totally cool. Let me just look at my ship quickly. Is this the way we want it? Yeah, this is relatively well organized, I would say. Um... 35 scrap is first level of doors if we want that, but we probably want to get second level, or sorry, second level of doors. But we probably want to get our shields up first. And uh, let's quickly go over, you know, the tail of the tape. You know, when you watch a, a, a sports match, they always tell you, like, what's what's going on? Who's the starting roster? Well, starting roster on um, the red tail is four burst lasers at level one. So what we want to do is uh, target these appropriately to take out as many relevant systems as possible, at least damage as many relevant systems as possible. So I think we're gonna, on this one, two shields, two weapons. Hopefully take out all those weapons. Good, they didn't even get a chance to fire a bomb. Their shields are still up, and now it doesn't really matter what we fire at. And this is why um, the Red Tail, at least to start, is a little bit better than the Kestrel, I think, because you can target multiple systems at the same time. And, you know, it costs you a little bit more power, but you have a little bit more... Um, kind of agency over where these shots actually land, too. So we have a problem. We have a pretty nasty fire here. I am just trying to make sure, you know... My, uh, okay, close all doors. Get that shit repaired ASAP. We have no NGs, which is always frustrating. Um, kind of just a really unfortunate place for that first problem to be, though. You know what, Zoltan? You should get in there and help out, maybe? I don't know. We'll see where the next fire is. Uh, it's just in our med base. We can actually just... Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Close all doors. Um, open just these ones right here. And have our Zoltan walk back. And then we won't be actually missing power. So this is fine. Uh, we might lose our med bay, but I doubt it. Even if we do, we'll be able to get it fixed up uh, relatively soon. And we probably won't need it straight away. So let's just keep uh, jumping here. No need to go to that first door. Stores, in my opinion, at least become way more valuable as time goes on. Alright, they have a hack. Uh, but no boarding. So our med bay did lose power. Uh, our dodge chance is basically zero. So, um, you know what that means. We might as well get our human to repair the, the med bay. It's, oh, they actually can't get out. So we'll just have them sit in there. Disregard. Now they have a defense drone and a missile launcher. How would I handle this? Uh, I think all four shots on the weapons to start with is not so bad. Get that missile launcher offline. Um, we don't really need sensors replaced right away. Since they don't have any weapons, though, we'll, we'll get our uh, mantis. Hey, you're, you're fine. You're fine as is. We'll get our mantis to repair some stuff. We'll also break the... Uh, sorry, that's drone. We'll break the hack, just so that our human actually can escape, and we'll get our human to repair the sensors here. No, Zoltan, you're supposed to come back here. Don't worry about that too much. And uh, we're very much in a good position now. I would say probably two shots on weapons and two shots on shields now. And with shields completely down, they're going to try to escape, but they're basically done. I do think that the red tail starts very good. Uh, and it starts very well. I'm not actually sure what the proper conjugation on that one would be. But it doesn't really matter. Are you Atreyu? No, Atreyu is our pilot. You're going to go to the med bay. Um, it doesn't really matter how well you start. The most important thing is how well you actually finish. Are we going to be able to finish well? That's what we're going to try to do, at least. Uh, that's what we're going to try to find out. Uh, everybody can go back where they belong now, and we'll save it up. First sector, second bar of shields, by far the most important thing, unless uh, some kind of miracle happens and you are able to get cloaking. And by miracle, I mean, I guess you're playing on easy. Um, so they're going to try to get away right off the bat. This will change how we handle this situation a little bit. They have a three-shot laser and a beam. Uh, we do need to take out weapons as soon as possible. I think maybe we'll do three shots on weapons. And then our fourth shot, I'll, I'll fire on the piloting system. Good. So we've at least taken out the piloting system and we took out the laser. I think that was a smart way to handle it. Uh, and I think this time we'll, uh, maybe two, three shots on shields and one shot on weapons. Just to keep them 
you know, offline. They did get their piloting system fixed, um, but now that we've got their weapons pretty screwed, I'm just gonna say uh, go for the piloting system as hard as we can. That's worked out very well for us, and uh, I don't know what else we need to really do here. We'll just see if we can sneak some shots in. Should have still targeted the weapons there. That's pretty bad news. My, like, the next round is going to be the last shot anyway, so we might as well just take all of our shots at the weapons and hopefully... There we go. It was better when piloting was out because they had no dodge chance, but uh, that's fine. We ended up navigating out of that situation totally okay. No hull damage. We've taken some hull damage, but... Um, uh, sure, five drone parts for a quest beacon, and the quest beacon was right along the way anyway. That's totally fine. Hopefully not too big of a, an enemy ship here to fight. Dock with the station and investigate. Sure. Drag him back to the ship and prepare for a fight. Oh, I lost a crew. Atreyu is now an enemy? Alright, now that's ridiculous. Um, I think I've encountered that before. It sucks to lose a crew member, though. Um, you know what, Zoltan? Maybe you can get in the door room and take it up to level 2. And everybody else, we'll just try to uh, start the fight in the med bay here. Get to the door. Oh, you fucker. You suck at getting to the door room, my friend. Um, we'll just vent out the oxygen in these rooms, uh, our Zoltan's gonna get screwed, so you know what, Mantis, you can go fight in the door room instead. And are we gonna be okay in this med bay? It is powered up. And the doors are blocking these guys in. Let's get this vented. I think we're gonna be fine fighting them in here, but it is a little scary. Makes way more sense to not have the Zoltan in there, but... Like, like to have the Mantis fighting in the med bay instead, but this is gonna work out. Unfortunately, we did lose a crew member just by, by definition, basically. Just open this one up and these guys are basically fucked. Alright, Mantis. I'd say it's safe for uh, you to probably get back in here now. Close all doors. Open all doors. And we're good. Alright, get the shields fixed up. Sucks to lose a pilot and lose it for no reason. We will have... Um, our. I don't want our Mantis to be the pilot. I want our human to be the pilot and Mantis can take over engines. Because I want Mantis to be around for fighting. So maybe actually Zoltan should take... Oh, he's so close to leveling up on weapons, though. I s basically, I, I can't take the guy off of piloting, or the, the person off of piloting, or off of weapons. So I think it makes sense to have the Zoltan in the... Or sorry, in the engines room. I can't take a person off of uh, piloting or engines to keep our dodge chance high. I can take someone off of weapons fairly easily, though, which is why I'm putting the Mantis there. He's also the best fighter. Seems like a realistic option to me. Hopefully we'll get another crew member soon and we can sort this out a little bit better, but... Alright, we have a drone ship with a missile launcher. Um, our timing's gonna be a little bit bunged up here, but that's okay. I do think we fire everything we've got on weapons. Because we've got to get that missile launcher offline. Our only missile defense is to basically, you know, go fast. Uh, our shields being completely out means we will have our Mantis repair those. Um, that's not my favorite sentence in the world, Mantis repair, but that's okay. We pretty much desperately need an NG soon, but at least we have gotten a decent amount of scrap on this floor. Not even necessarily an NG, just more crew. Three crew on a ship this large is annoying. And I should remember to save our uh, teammate positions here. All in all, this is not going terribly, but that is kind of a, you know, shit luck. To say the least. Uh, but, you know, you live and learn. Now that I've paid attention to that quest marker, hopefully, I, or that, that quest in general, hopefully I choose the right option next time and don't lose a crew member for no reason. Uh, aid the civilian ship, for sure. They have a missile launcher. That's nothing new. They have a teleporter. That is fucking annoying. So, if they only have one person, where are you going here? Oxygen or doors or... Ah, there we go. Sensors. Let's fight. Okay. Should be able to take you out just fine. First things first, all shots on... Weapons. They did get a missile off. It it disappeared into the ether. Or maybe I shot it? I think I'm going to actually fire all four shots at shields next just to keep them off forever, hopefully. Their person died before they could teleport out. There's a fire in the shields room. And now we can really see what's going on in the sensor room. And I like that a great deal. So, uh, honestly, I think we're going to fire all in the shields room again. Maybe actually get these, uh, get these crew members killed over here. Or at least in a really bad situation. And how would I... I, I want to kill them without actually killing the hull. Like, if we kill the NG... Alright, well. You know, we can just finish the job here. You should get in the med bay, my mantis friend. And, uh, cool. We got 117 scrap from the first sector. Pretty good, I would say. Next level of shields. Um, 
can't really get an extra level of dodging, I think. Unless the Zoltan being there makes it... Nah. Okay. So this is fine. Uh, make sure to power up the mid bay. And I'd say it's a relatively lucrative first sector, minus the fact that we lost a crew member, which is pretty annoying. Not devastating yet, but annoying. Next aid scrap we get will probably be invested... Yeah, we'll go down to energy control. We'll probably be invested into our door system, if I had to guess. Just because, um, you know, with the way our ship is currently kind of sitting, we really don't have much defense against intruders except for one mantis, and that's it. I'll buy three fuel. Seems decent. Um, yeah, we have one mantis, but they just run through our door system. It's a real problem. Um, I'll sell five missiles just to take us over to the point where we can get that uh, next level of doors. There is a store, so I would love to, you know, farm up a bit of scrap because now we can start buying some new stuff. Or we can invest this surplus into, like, dodge chance, basically. Mantises. Uh, and they do have a, uh, a boarding area. So they've sent one Mantis in here to the engine room. I'm gonna join them, and this should be a fight that we win for sure then. And I do think that, um, that laser that they have probably fires... Oh, it only fires one shot, so I actually had basically no need to fire on their, um... Their weapons, I should have just gone entirely on shields instead. This is fine, though. Uh, we'll go 100% on shields next. Take those completely out. More or less. And uh, it looks like they're all going to repair the shield. So if I know anything about mantises, they repair super slowly. So we'll just fire in on there, and that's going to be even worse for them. I see doors opening up, which means they're probably in the med bay. But let's be honest, it doesn't really matter at this point. As long as they're not piloting, their dodge chance is quite low. And with that taken care of, NG for fuel, that's all right. Um, we ended up getting like 12 scrap from the actual fight, but it was an easy fight, so that makes sense. Uh, except their offer of surrender. I hate to do it, but uh, it seems to have the best uh, or the best um, possible reward to just accept the surrender. Makes you kind of a dick, but free scrap is free scrap. Now, uh, Ion Intruder Drone. Nice to have or nice to sell. Uh, the Ion Intruder Drone is super annoying when it's used against me, so maybe I should actually learn for once and, uh, you know, use it against the enemy. But we need a drone control unit to make that work, and uh, we don't really have the scrap for that yet. So, uh, we have another quest marker. Please tell me we don't end up just losing a crew member as a result of this. And I'm going to bypass this store, just because our scrap's a little low and I'd rather get to the quest marker. They have a teleporter, ion stunner it looks like. I can't see if they have another weapon, but we'll aid them. They only have an ion stunner, so that doesn't really scare me. Uh, they probably have more than one border then. Nope, just the one. That's uh, kind of surprising, actually. So we'll fight them uh, mantis mantis and uh, with only an ion stunner, what do I attack? I think shields go first. Just so we can uh, guarantee ourselves a better shot next time. And even our Mantis got stunned. But our shields also went out for a second. That doesn't really matter that much. What I'm going to do is like open this up. And then we'll just make sure our med bay is powered. And we'll get ready to go in there. In fact, we might just go in there right now. Because it vented the oxygen so quickly. Uh, and next we'll go on the clone bay. So we'll get like a couple of shots on, on everything here. But we really want to take out that clone bay. Um, so that they're... Oh, they stunned their own Mantis. But they did bring him back. Uh, via the teleporter, but they're screwed. Um, we'll close all doors. Not even any need to open them all. We'll just wait this out, basically. And they are screwed. They actually had a little bit of surplus power in the oxygen room, which is surprising to me. Civilian ship didn't give us anything, which is kind of par for the course, unfortunately, at this point, but whatever. We've had it happen so many times that I am not uh, necessarily surprised. Displeased, maybe? But not surprised. So, there's a quest and a store, and we can't get to the exit from the store beacon, so whether or not we go to that will remain to be seen. But for now, what do we got? Uh, we found a ship. It doesn't have a teleporter, it has a flat cannon that's scary as hell, but it's only a level uh, 1 flat cannon, so... Presumably, if we get all of our shots firing here and manage to take out that flat cannon before it can fire more than one shot... Well, yes. Oh my god, we were extremely lucky. Uh, didn't work out maybe as well as I would have liked, but we'll do uh, part two here, and we're a little bit ahead of the eight ball. And, uh, you know, we can basically repeat this ad nauseum. I think now maybe we can afford to actually, you know, get one shot in there on shields as well as taking out their weapons. Uh, but for now, we'll just wait it up and uh, see if maybe we can hit engines, oxygen. Just, you want to fuck with them a little bit, basically. I should have taken out their, their weapons a little bit, actually, because that flat cannon will get a chance to shoot, I think. Mm, not quite. Okay, so they're dead. 
You know, they must have a few Angies on board or something, because they've, they've been doing a very good job of actually repairing these systems as they go down. Maybe they just have a large crew. That would work, too. Uh, but they're completely dead, and we get 22 scrap as a quest reward. Plenty of stores. I'm not super comfortable about going to them, though, because that would put us in a weird place for our, um, you know, getting to our exit beacon. Because we can't actually make it. If this was just, like, this exit beacon was just a little bit up here, we probably could have, but so be it. Redtail's doing a decent job. For the next sector, I would love to get, oh, intruders on board already. Okay, one sec. Two mantises in here, huh? Um, well, what we're going to do is uh, start venting out the oxygen like this. And I want to force them into the fight with the mantis, basically, if possible. Uh, there we go. Slow them down a little bit in here. Open up this. Uh, and open up this. Alright, so what do they have? They have some lasers and some ions. It's dangerous. Two bars of shields is unfortunate, but there we go. We still took out one weapon. That's basically all we needed to do. They will have NGs repairing those. There's no way out for these mantises here. Um, there we go. Snuck a shot in on shields, which is going to give us a little bit easier penetration in the future. Please tell me. Yes. Okay, good. Got a little scary there. These are ready. Um, I don't even know how these shots are going to shake out. Good. We did damage three systems. That's basically what I wanted. Uh, and the piloting system will drastically lower their dodge chance for the future. Let's go on weapons. Take those completely out. And they are now screwed for the next area. And what I, the reason I said we need a new weapon for the next sector is because as ships start having, you know, two bars of shields and a lot of dodge chance, these uh, four lasers are not going to do as good of a job of, like, tearing enemy ships into shreds. Uh, what do we have here? Sell drone parts? Sell six for 24 scrap. That's fine. And we'll jump into the next sector. We'll go, uh, we'll go pirate controlled. A little scary, a little risky, but... Um, do we have a store? We don't. So I'm going to invest in maybe uh, two bars of dodge power and uh, reactor power. Give us a little bit of missile defense. And we should have a decent amount of time to jump, get some more scrap for our next store anyway. We really want to replace these basic lasers with something objectively a little bit more powerful. Lone survivor. Invite him to join our crew. Now we've got a mantis who is good at shields. Very nice. Shields, another um, non-essential system. So we are a little bit better off against boarding now. Very nice. Uh, let's be a little conservative with our jumps here. Want to make sure we can get where we need to go. It's a Mantis ship. No teleporter, but a missile launcher and a bomb. Can't tell if that bomb's powered up. Our dodge chance is much lower, though, uh, as a result of them, I guess, hacking our systems. It's fine. Let's get our four shots firing here, hopefully before their uh, bomb goes off. Yeah, there's no way we're stopping the missile, but sensors go out. It's not necessary to repair right away. We can do it faster later. Um... Okay, so the bomb is firing for sure. And we'll get a few shots in here on shields as well. Alright, we've at least taken one bar of shields down permanently. What is it? Like... Oh, do we have seriously... I think our engines were meant to be completely hacked, but because we have a Zoltan, they actually can't take them all offline. Uh, so the ions hit our weapons there at some point. I didn't notice. Uh, let's try this. Good. Wonderful. Keep those weapons offline. Basically everything at this point. Probably shouldn't have fired our fourth shot there. That's a little annoying. Oh, we still got the kill, though. Very barely, but we got it. 31 scrap, 3 fuel. Pretty good payout. We could really use some NGs because these mantises are god-awful at repairing things, even with two of them. And I don't see a store. But I don't really want to upgrade anything else right now, to be honest. We're kind of in an okay position, I would say. Red Tail has led to a very comfortable run so far. It's not like your standard uh, slug cruiser run where things are always a little turbulent. You know, you don't know how things are going to go because uh, the anti-bio beam is just so shitty against drones that like a Sector 2 or Sector 3 drone could just take you out and it wouldn't even be that rare. So we could buy a Rockman or attack the Slaver Scum. Uh, I'm going to attack the Slaver Scum in the hopes that they give me a slave when I defeat them. Normally, the way that you would do this is you would actually kill all the crew members instead of killing the hull, and that would um, that would give you your choice of basically whatever species of crew member you want. Um, wow, we, we got hurt pretty badly here. Would be very nice to get those weapons repaired, even at the cost of some dodge power right now. So let's get that up as soon as possible. Because our basic lasers, as of right now, are not doing a whole hell of a lot. Um, even our, our other mantis we can get in here and repair a little faster, because otherwise we're not going to be able to accomplish too much of all. Or too much at all, I should say. Ion Bomb doesn't really bother me when it lands in a situation like that. 
So you come back here. It's very important, you know, solve these problems as soon as they ar arrive. Arise, I should say. And I'm not gonna fire anything until their, um, their missile launcher comes back, or until we get all four charges, which we just got. Good. Their missile launcher did come back, but um, we at least took out their bomb this time. The stunner's still annoying as hell, and it's really hurting our shields, but it's not like they have laser weapons we need to worry about. Took out their missile launcher, their bomb came back. It's a pretty scary ship here, actually. But uh, I think we're, we're basically fine. They're gonna give us an NG. That's wonderful. So, uh, our Mantis crew member... Sorry, our other Mantis crew member did get pretty good at weapons. But our NG is a little better. Well, not better, but, but faster at repairing, which is why I'm gonna value them more in that situation. And uh, I'm gonna now move our Mantis into the uh, door system. And basically now we have a, a much better like anti-boarding setup here. So this Mantis is only gonna have to remove level three doors in order to uh, actually deal with invaders, which is smart, I think. We'll see though. All right, flat cannon. Dodge chance obviously of critical importance here. Taking that up to 30 is gonna be nice. And the Ion Stunner, which has been uh, historically kind of an annoying uh, weapon to deal with. They're not going to be doing any boarding, though. There's no mind control, so nothing too risky there. Bad shots on my part. Flat Cannon, luckily, uh, just didn't have quite enough juice to get through. How about this one? Ah, we uh, missed just enough again. That time they actually did manage to take out sensors and stun our shield personnel. Uh, and stun our shields, which is also scary. Come on, you can get, you can do this. Hey, okay, we took out the flat cannon. That's the most important. Uh, NG, you just get in there and fix that. I know we could use our um, we could use our mantis, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna hit their piloting system as much as I can because that uh, dodge chance has been super fucking annoying so far. And now I can see a little bit of their ship as well. You know what? That might be more valuable than having the actual weapons active. So they got their piloting system fixed. It would have been very nice if I could have actually uh, fired on the piloting system while they were fixing it. But at least their weapons have only just now come back online, so we try that old song and dance again. Just good enough to take out the uh, flat cannon, which is good enough, basically, for right now. And we got it. Oh my god, this, they've got the greatest pilot of all time. Freaking uh, Tex Avery over there or something. That's the oldest reference I will ever make. Okay, we've heard the piloting system. That lowers their dodge chance. Takes, you know, precedence for their crew to repair it. Okay, piloting system's completely out. They will probably get to fire a flat cannon shot before I can hit their weapons again, though. Close, but no cigar. They're gonna surrender, and their surrender offer is actually okay. Uh, mostly I wanted those missiles, just in case we get a missile launcher in the future, but um, decent scrap. We're just, we're topped up, basically. Doc and try to rescue the survivors. 14 damage, or sorry, 14 scrap, some damage to our hull. That's alright, I can live with it. We'll just wait for our stuff to get repaired here. Our hull is not at the highest level of integrity. I would love it if we could maybe improve upon that a little bit. I'm just gonna jump as far out as we can here to hopefully find a store. And uh, nothing going on at all here. Okay, so two stores actually. This store wants you to buy fuel. Well, go ahead now. Um, do we have anything? So, breaching bomb. Interesting, fire bomb, interesting. I don't really like the um, the augments. I think I may actually, um, even though we need a weapon, sell the Ion Intruder. Yeah, yeah. Clone Bay, yeah. Not without a crew teleporter, which they do not have. No. So I'm gonna buy Mind Control, and I'm gonna sell Ion Intruder. Might seem like a little bit of a um, a compromise. Like you might be like, "Wow, that's like." That doesn't solve any of your problems. It does, actually, because even with level 1 mind control, we can take control of their pilot, thereby drastically lowering their dodge chance, thereby drastically improving the chance that the basic laser actually becomes more effective. So, um, we won't mind control the pilot until the shot is basically ready to go. Oh, of course you have an ion intruder drone. Otherwise, um, that would be far too easy. So we're just not... Fuck the sensors, basically. Now, we're about to shoot, so we're going to mind control the pilot. Oh, I get it now. All right. Um, with only, like, two lasers, I think I'd rather fire on their... You know what? It's better to fire on weapons, because shields are going to go down in that first ion pulse anyway. So our sensors are done. I need to get the next level of sensors, or, you know, more realistically, move my mantis over there. So now that their shields are out, I'm going to hit um, a couple of drone, hit their pilot, and uh, 
you know, hit their oxygen just so they have a lot of things to deal with. They're gonna surrender just so I don't have to deal with any more nonsense. I think I'm just gonna completely accept this. So we'll take a defense drone Mark II. Might be nice to have for later. Um, we're just gonna jump away from this basically as soon as we can. Even though our shields are not back up yet and it's a little bit dangerous, I'd rather just be out of this like Ion Pulse City. And of course now we jump into an asteroid field with no shields. Um, and they have a beam drone. Yeah, a fire drone, even better. Wonderful. Okay, shields come back in a second. Mind control's out, not that that mattered here at all. Shields are back, okay. Probably should get that uh, mid bay powered up. Now, fires. The fires are not good. That was exceptionally bad luck. Mind you, we could still be fine. That missile missing is extremely important. Uh, their ion weapon scares the shit out of me, to be honest with you. With the, with the asteroids and their, like, fire drones uh, here. It's quite a frightening proposition. NG just fixed this breach. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna go on shields, because if I can take their shields out, the asteroids can tear them apart a little bit. Alright, so the breach is nearly fixed. We'll fix up mind control while we're here. Our shields are in a bad place, which gives their fire drone a chance to be a real asshole about things. But mostly, I'm still concerned about their missile launcher. So they have no shields now. Which is gonna make... Oh, they had no shields for a minute. Which would make asteroids uh, much, much better. You get in the med bay for a second. It's a good thing about having backup weapons personnel, I guess. Let's try this again. Ah, there we go. Amazingly, their drone is still working. But why do we have no shields? We have no shields? That's a hell of a fucking ion weapon there, buddy. How'd you manage that one? My god. Um... So we should be fine, as long as our shields come back. We can take as long as is necessary here. We didn't lose any crew members. Yeah, you know what? Just abandon that shit for now. We can take as long as is necessary here, as long as our shields come back. Should get that second bar clicked on. And we're, we're good. Lost some hull power, some hull integrity. Shit happens. Get in here and fix those weapons ASAP. There is a human in there. I couldn't see because of the beam drone, and I was like, have I been going all this time without somebody manning the fucking, uh, engines? That would be not good. Let's put it that way. So everyone back to where you belong, where the eagles fly on a mountain high. And Mantis, if you recall, you are going to be our new sensor personnel so that you can actually, um, help us use mind control. As opposed to third level of doors, which we're not going to use anyway, because as soon as someone boards, we would send the Mantis in to, uh, help. So... Hire a Mantis or hire a Rockman? I think we'll hire a Rockman. Uh, it's pretty cheap, 25. And it is weapons personnel. Um, how good? Our NG is a little bit better, but it's also better to have our NG around for repairs. Maybe I'm like, I'm spreading our crew too thin here. But I think this is the right thing to do. Of all the classes that I want mobile, I want NG and Mantis mobile. NG for repairs, no matter where the ship might need them, and um, Mantis for anti-boarding. I, I, obviously. Let's see if we can actually get something done now. It's an interesting situation we put ourselves in here. This is a ship that uh, we can mind control. They have a missile launcher. So we don't need to mind... Our mind control is very time limited right now, obviously. We're not going to mind control until uh, our lasers are ready to fire, which they are basically right now. So we'll mind control the pilot. That will drastically lower the... Uh, Chance of us missing. We've taken out their missile launcher. It did manage to sneak in a, a, an attack on our oxygen, which will get fixed up right away. We hurt their shields, we hurt their weapons, uh, and their pilot is still very much under our control. Um, let's hit that laser and we'll hit the pilot too. Just totally mess with them. I actually shot an asteroid that was going to help them, or that was going to help us. Uh, so they're in obviously a terrible position right now. Um, I hit the wrong button there and almost accepted surrender, I think. That's a pretty terrible surrender offer. So, goodbye. Easy enough. This is uh, where mind control is going to start to pay dividends for us, if I had to guess. Uh, that distress beacon is very much out of our price range right now. So, we jump. And that was the end of Sector 3. So, we go to Sector 4. Let's go NG Homeworlds, just to mix it up, because we got an NG. Maybe we'll get more blue uh, conditions as a result of that. Everyone good? Everyone's good. Let's start jumping. We've only got w one jump to choose from here. Who we got? Investigate the battlefield. Nothing at all. All right, keep uh, keep on rocking in the free world here and do 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 do. Dock with the refueling platform. S seal your blast doors. 
five free fuel. Okay. Because we had level two doors, or maybe even level three doors with the NG, we were able to get the blue um, condition there. Otherwise, we probably would have gotten fuel but taken damage. This, uh, this sucks right now. This uh, sector is just devoid of useful shit. NG crew, have your NG crew member contact them. Offer your help. Added a quest marker. Added a quest marker. Uh, okay, so we can probably hit both of those if we uh, really rush, but I'm, I would love to get like some scrap. Here, there we go. 48 scrap is actually a really nice payout. Got a lot of jumps to get to that second quest beacon. Scares me a little bit. Offer some fuel for drone parts. Reject that offer. Okay, so quest beacon number one. Can we actually... No, we're going to have to go the long way around here. Interesting sector so far. Probably third bar of shields is what we're going to look for here, but it would be very, very nice to actually get some... Um, some extra weapon power, as you could probably guess by the fact that I... Uh, Unfortunately, I'm basically completely unable to break through three bars of shields, unless mind control the pilot. And then their weapons don't look that dangerous. Let's just send everything we got on shields. It's not even enough, even in that situation. Um, so we'll we'll see what how they manage to handle this here. Hey, we snuck in a shot. They do have a system repair drone. Um, I don't know. Maybe we. No, nah, we got to keep going on shields, even though they're gonna try to get away. If they get away, so be it. This is our only way through. Mind control is not going to be ready in time. I think they're going to escape. Maybe now we have to shoot the pilot. Try to take him out before he manages to jump. At least hurt the piloting system. Jump imminent. I know. I know that jump's imminent. Oh, the oh, mind control had just come back too. That's why we need more killing power. Can we actually get to the exit beacon while still hitting the second quest beacon? That's a darn good question. NG crew? Oh, okay. That's a good example of why you don't always take the um, the blue option, I guess. We just lost our NG crew member. Very unfortunate, but at least we did buy that rock crew member. Otherwise, we would be in a very uh, dangerous situation here. They have some nasty weapons, so we'll hit all of those. And that's good. That took out the, the, the ion, which is, to be honest with you, probably the, the most dangerous part of that whole shebang. Now we'll go on shields. Yeah, the bomb going off sucks. It really lowers our dodge chance. Uh, but apart from that, I mean, if they're not shooting anything at me, then I think that's okay. Um, yeah, we'll go all on weapons again. Mind control will come back eventually. With no weapons, this is pretty bad for them. With just a beam, this is pretty bad for them. Plenty of drones, though. I'll give you that. I did shoot down one of their drones in the sky that time. Please, desperately in need of some new darn weapons. Uh, you know, mind control the person repairing the weapons here. Take the shield personnel away and uh, maybe with the... Ah, the pilot went too, so that should be the end of them. 18 and... Oh, we got virus back, so that's what that was. Alright, so this guy's good at everything. So obviously... Um, it doesn't make sense. It makes sense to have the Zoltan in a room where he helps out a lot, uh, but it sucks because Virus would probably be a much better engine personnel. It doesn't make sense to put the Zoltan in a subsystem, though. Uh, we could put Zoltan on shields and then move our Mantis to the door room, but now we. Eh. I'm okay with this, to be honest with you. I'm alright. We'll see if we're gonna need to. if we're gonna be able to go to this other quest beacon. We might just want to jump to the exit instead. I uh, don't really love any of those. I do love the idea of getting uh, a laser. I don't really like that it's a hull smasher laser. Three power for three damage is, is pretty poor. Do they have a drone control unit? They don't. Uh, sold the defense drone. I, th we, I don't really think we have a choice, is the thing. We either get three for two power, or sorry, three power for two, or we get three power for three, but they do do double damage on systemless rooms. I think we have to take it, basically. Um, and I think at this point, we can also sell at least two of those basic lasers just to fit the hull laser in. That way, we still have a little bit more. Um, I mean, it requires one more power. We can... I think I'm just going to jump straight to the exit. We can sort that out right now, though. Right, okay. So now we have five shots, and it costs us one more power, and they're not going to charge nearly as quickly. 
Maybe I should have kept one more of those basic lasers, but... Oh well. This is fine. Does double damage on systemless rooms as well. Aid the civilian ship. Okay. The real problem with this... Where's it gonna land? Uh, oxygen. Little dangerous. The real problem with this is that it's not gonna charge fast enough for me to really do what I wanna do. Um, thank God that... Oh, that missile hit, actually. My mistake. So we mind control the pilot. Basic laser, whatever. And then hull laser the shields. Oh, sorry. Hull laser the, the, the weapons is actually what I meant to say, believe it or not. I know that our um, oxygen's in a weird place here. But that's okay. Don't worry about it. Are we going to hit weapons again? I, I really think we should. And we'll try this. Man, we're only hitting like one shot out of those. Even with their pilot in a strange place. Alright, where's... Oh, that is very much what I was concerned about. Alright, NG. And Sensor Mantis, this is your time to shine, my friend. Get that shit fixed up. A-S-A fucking P. Oh my god, they all missed! Alright, that's gotta get repaired. Oh, thank god you lived. I don't know how you did it, you beautiful bastards, but... I appreciate it nonetheless. I think I maybe have put myself in a very dangerous situation. Here comes a missile. 17% dodge chance. Maybe we can just get out. Alright! It missed us! <laughs> uh, okay. We need to take a second here. I know this is the end of this part. Things are not looking fantastic. That's okay. We'll, we'll recover. Maybe. Or the next part will be the smallest part in uh, our history with FTL. Alright, are you guys the only people that are hurt? I guess you are. Medbay is getting fixed up. Good for business. Beth is our sensors. Tomas is our engines. Virus is our doors. Alright, we can't really repair. That's going to do it for part one. Things look dire. Please return... Uh, Next episode, same FTL time, same FTL channel. Like, literally, it'll be up at the same time and on the same channel. So just look in the video description below. I don't, uh, don't really like our chances with the red tail here, but stranger things have happened, I suppose. As always, if you liked the episode, don't neglect part one. Click the like button, it helps out a lot. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more FTL in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. Peep the video description below, and I'll see you in a, mere, a matter of mere moments.